Not seen the trailer yet? Mate, new trailer came out, Need for Speed Payback showed you pretty much about the world. There's some new stuff in it that I want to pick up on, and I know you guys will pick out much more than I will. So if you leave anything down below in the comments, that will be very nice of you. First, just want to say this has a lot of claims in it that I want to talk about. For example, it being the biggest Need for Speed world, and I can say that I is very true. Having actually played the game, just having seen the map that someone formed up. Do you remember that map that I showed you a few videos back? Yeah, that map there, that alone shows you that it's a pretty damn big world. Now, some stretches of road, I, I'm trying, I'm literally <laughs> diving this deep into it. Some stretches of road in maybe Hot Pursuit were probably longer, but I think that this actual map overall is bigger. I would say this is the biggest map. And you have to think that this is, as, as we've spoken about before, there's not just kind of an on road anymore. You can drive off the road. There's no limits anymore of going into the barriers and stuff. I mean, there are some, but compared to previous games, there's, there's none at all. The trailer shows a lot, including new vehicles that we haven't actually seen before, I don't believe. Some of which we'll, we'll talk about in a minute. It gives you an idea of the derelict system, people driving up to them to show you how it works. It gives you lots of stuff, all right? It gives you loads and loads. It's actually probably the longest trailer, I think, of the, the, the thus far. And it is actually a trailer rather than just being actual gameplay they've uploaded. So technically, I think this is the longest trailer. It gives you a good, crazy idea of all the customization in the game. Swapping of body kits is a thing, as you can see from uh, pre the previous video on the skyline we we did uh the, there was actually uh the front bumper the the actual modified parts on the vehicle in that last video those were actually in the last game but they were swapped so they were different they were mismatched they weren't just one body kit as we got in the previous game where you just lock it on you can select individual parts it would seem but now let's go through the trailer and pick out proper points to bring out if you haven't already seen the trailer, you, you got a quick go at it. There you go. One of the first cool shots is of the city. You get a quick flyby of the city. A big building looking like a casino almost or a hotel or something in the Vegas area. Silver Rock. I promise I didn't just jump cut because I had to go and search up. The first shot of cars together that we get as well is to do with muscle and kind of classic American style. Very American. Gives you the feel. Yes. It's an American place, if you didn't know from the, the idea already that we've- Mr. Kachiga in the middle, looking nice. Observatory. There's quite a few things to pick up on. Uh, the, the, for example, right there, we got an idea of some supercars that were racing across that were definitely customized. How about a McLaren P1? Yes, apparently, the McLaren P1 is back, in case you missed it, because I actually did. Personally, I actually like the P1. P1 is probably my favorite hypercar of the three. And just in case it isn't your favorite of the three, how about the 918? Because that's also there, if you didn't see that. The idea of this trailer, for the most part, is just showing you the world that we're going to be playing in the FC Payback and how vast and different and open it is compared to the previous worlds. You just get an idea of you can go off-road, you can do drag races, you can do drifting, you can do racing. It's throwing so much in there, so much more than previous Need for Speed games have done in a long time, which is it's quite nice. And we also get our first look at pretty much crews in the game. So as you can see throughout the trailer, these crews have a different purpose, like a different focus point. And I'm assuming that's going to go with all of them. For example, maybe there's going to be a race one, off-road one, drag one, drift one, that sort of thing. It would make sense because they mentioned two of them. And they have their own little racing, like, you know, cl clubs going on almost. Which I really like. It reminds me of how it used to be in older games. For example, Carbon. There, there were crews that were very... They didn't have specific, like, focuses, but they had specific car types. Like, I think they had supercars and muscle cars, that sort of thing. That was the focuses. But now it's showing you, oh, look, we like to off-road. We like to drag race, blah, blah, blah. Then talks about how you can buy cars at dealerships, which I like. Then you go to the tune shop and upgrade it and go to the garage if you want to do visual mods. And then Audi R8. The rest of the trailer goes on to show you pretty much everything that you would expect. It's a world trailer. That's the main focus of the trailer, showing you the world and how vast and different it is. And it, I like the trailers like this, honestly. They, they remind me very much of the GTA Online trailers where they explain specific things. Do you remember those? I loved those trailers. I thought they were so well put together. I, 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 want, I want to see more trailers like this, just having the voiceover Describing a specific aspect of the game 
just something about it that is quite enjoyable. Previously, I've stated that I'm not massively into the ridiculously fast cars, and I'm that still stands true. I'm gonna be sticking to pretty much my skyline area, so I'm guessing around mid, kind of mid to high tier. I, I'm hoping that again, it's a case of you can really upgrade some of them to ridiculous levels, even if they are pretty much slow. But I, I again, I imagine from what I've read, you can get the derelict cars up to max class. So I imagine a lot of the tuner cars could be also bumped up to max class. For example, the R34, the R35, those things are very, very upgradable from what we've seen online and everything. So you go, all right, then hopefully we'll be able to do that in the game. And one final thing I've got to say is when is my sticker going to be on one of these cars? <laughs> every single one I see, right? Every other car has Nick's sticker on it or LPN. Where, where's, where's the Black Pants sticker? All I got was a Civic in the last game. Come on, if you show another Skyline, where, where's my stick? Anyway, let me know what you think of this trailer down below. Is there anything I missed? I know there's probably some cars in here that I didn't really mention specifically, but we know there's a heck of a lot of new cars, and hopefully soon we'll get to see some more customization of them and stuff. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts on the trailer down below. I thought it was a pretty good one. My top trailer, okay, I'm going to say, let me, let me know yours as well. My top trailer has to be the one with the car. It was so gritty and dark and I loved it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Smash like, subscribe if you are new, and subscribe for more payback stuff. And if I said subscribe already, I said it again because I can. Time add, add revenues low. <laughs> Peace.